Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. For today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the print and cut feature on your Cricut to make your own stickers. For this tutorial, I will be making handmade with love stickers, but you can use these same steps for any kind of sticker you want. Let's get started in Design Space. You can find lots of great pictures in the images section to use for making stickers. I'll look up flowers. There are lots of images here that can be used, but you can find images that are ready to cut by clicking on print and cut right here. I want to make some handmade with love stickers today to stick on my products when I sell or gift them. I'm going to customize my stickers a little bit and use a flower wreath that I got on Etsy. The first thing I need to do is upload my design. I'll click on upload, upload image, and I'll just pull in the wreath. For stickers, choose complex. This wreath is already formatted to be a circle. If the picture you are using is not already cut out like this one, just click on the background to remove it. Once you're happy with it, press apply and continue. On this screen, choose print and cut. And now we can click on the picture and add to canvas. Now I'll add in the writing. I'll click on text and put in handmade with love. I'll change my font. The font I'll be using today is in the system menu. Cream candy. Now I'll line it up. The spacing is pretty big between the writing, so I'll just press this button to decrease that a little bit. That looks good. I'll change the font color. I want a green that is close to the green in the leaves. I'll go with this one. I'm happy with this design, so the next thing I need to do is format it so my machine cuts everything out properly. When I click on the flower layer, you can see that this is ready to be print and cut. When I click on my writing layer, it's set to cut out the writing like normal. This is an easy change. I'll just click on print and cut. This looks right in design space, but a common mistake is to cut this out how it is now. Your machine would cut out the flower wreath and the words individually. For print and cut, you want to select both layers, then click on flatten. This will merge everything into one cohesive image. The last thing I need to do is just resize this. I want my stickers to be two and a half inches wide. When you are using print and cut, you can go up to a maximum of six and three quarters wide by nine and a quarter long. Now I can press make it. I need six of these today, so I'll just change that to six and press apply. My printer is ready and loaded with sticker paper that I picked up from Amazon. I'll include a link in the description below. There are a few different settings that you can do when making stickers. When most people try this for the first time, they often make the mistake of choosing sticker paper because that's what they're using. If you do this, your machine is going to cut through both the sticker paper and the backing paper and will cut out each sticker individually. If you want the sticker sheet to stay intact as one sheet, then you'll want to use the washi sheet setting instead. That's the one I'll be using today. My stickers are printed out and ready to be cut. There is a thick black line around the outside of the stickers. This is here to help your machine calculate where to make the cut. I'll put this on a green mat and use my brayer to make sure it's stuck down firmly. Now I'll pop it into my Maker 3. You can use a Cricut or Silhouette for this step. 
I'll flip the mat over and peel the mat away from the sticker paper to get it off. These stickers are done and look great. Using the washi setting, the stickers come off easily and the backing paper remains intact. If you encounter any issues or have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.